gang, gang, gang. And it's Mama Bree, and I am back. Hey, miss y'all. Back with another segment. <laughs> Anyhow, before we get into this video, y'all know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, and give this videos not one, but two thumbs up. Don't ask me why I say give you give two thumbs up, because I know you only can give one thumb at a time, but whatever. Anyway, I, I had a request. Um, you know how I ask y'all, you know, if y'all want to talk about certain stuff, um, put it in the comments below. And I did get a request from a Tawana Johnson. Um, she wanted me to talk about relationships, men, relationships. And I'm just going to be just honest. I'm not going to be the one to talk about relationships because um, I'm not very good in that field, in that area. Being that, y'all, can we just be straight up? Mama Bree don't take no mess off no man. I don't do no, no abusive relationships. You ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. I, I don't have no time for it. Because for one, I've always been a hard worker. I work for my own. I don't expect nobody to give me anything. But if you're going to be in a relationship with me, I expect you to bring something to the table to multiply what I already have. Not divide, not take away. So, I know a lot of people <clears throat> that are in marriages and been in marriages for a long time. And the only way you're going to stay married for a long time is you're going to put up with some stuff. But all of us put up with different things in life. Me personally, my my putting up with stuff is very short. It's very short. And I'm not saying that's a good thing. Because sometimes you got to just st stand. You got to stand through all the bad so you can enjoy the good. I am learning that. But I'm not married now. So my past marriages, I, I left. I'm the one that packed up and left. Because like I said, I don't take no wood nickels. If you're not doing what you're supposed to do and bringing what you're supposed to bring to the to the relationship, and for first of all, <clears throat> that starts out by reading the word, reading the word of God, and being the man that God made you to be in a relationship and being a woman. So if you first of all, if you don't have God in in any relationship, you're gonna see a lot of hard and bad times. Even if you have God in relationships, you're gonna be put through different tests. You know, so <clears throat> for me personally, I don't, I can't give no advice on being married or staying in a marriage because guess what? I left and, um, it's not something that I'm proud of, but I am happy that I left because I was able to give my kids a better life because I was in an abusive relationship, you know, mentally and physically to a point, you know, and I feel like. Like during the time when I was in my relationship, when I was married, that if I stayed in an abusive relationship, my son is going to give abuse and my daughter is going to take abuse because they're going to think that, hey, my mom took it, so I'll take it. My son going to say, well, my dad gave it, so I'll give it. So that was one of my one of the factors that made me, um, gave me the strength to walk out. Um, and it was hard, you know. <clears throat> so... I would I would say with any relationship like for me for right now personally this is only personal this is my opinion um, everyone has their own opinions everyone do their things different but Mama Bree don't take no wooden nickels I don't take no I don't play no mess I don't I don't even right now I'm in a relationship you're not doing what you're supposed to do is it perfect no but daggone you ain't gonna be half behind doing nothing with me meaning <clears throat> like. I'm I'm more of a 100% 100% type chick. I don't believe in that 50/50 because if I'm gonna get 50, you gonna get 50. Yeah, it's, it's 100 missing somewhere because I need to give 100 and you need to give 100. That's how I feel. People like give me I get I do 50/50. Nah, mm -mm. I want 100 from you, boo. I'm gonna give you 100. But so many times people don't do that, you know, um, in relationships. So, um. <clears throat> That young lady that requested me to speak on this subject, I, I, my Aubrey can't go there because, like, I, I'm not the one. You know, you got some people to give advice, baby, stay there, stay hanging there. And you know what? And it's not a bad thing just to advise people to hang in there and stay in there. But Mama Bree was just the total opposite, the total, total opposite. 
and that's that's all I can say about that. Um, I really don't have no advice on relationships whatsoever because Mama Bree just don't take no mess from nobody. Period. Period. Point blank. You know what you're supposed to do as a man. <clears throat> well, you should know what you're supposed to do, and even if you don't know, mm -hmm. and you pray about it enough, and you, <clears throat> and not only that. You you can you can be with people around people that are good influencers and help you and encourage you, but some men just don't give a dang on to do the right thing, and some women too they don't care to do the right thing. So, I mean, you got good, you got bad women, you got just as much as you have bad men out there in relationships. But me personally, I just chop it up, baby. I chop it up. I raised my two kids by myself as a single parent. Uh, and my kids didn't even know they didn't have a daddy, honestly, because, you know, no, I, let me say that. They knew they had a daddy, but they didn't miss that, that extra income in the home. You know, sometimes uh, a lot of single mothers raise kids and they struggle really bad. I was, a, I was fortunate enough to always be blessed with good jobs and, and always held very high positions on my job and was able to take care of my kids, period. I mean, my kids didn't go without anything and I thank God for that, so... I didn't need a man for anything. I did uh, for finances anyway. I didn't need no man to come and take care of my kids. And I guess my kids didn't know one way or the other. And I think at times they always, they have told me that they're glad that I, I, I chose the route that I chose. Because, I mean, some, sometimes it's, it's best, you know. So, not being in a relationship is not all bad. Because like right now, Mama Bree love her freedom. Love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. If I want to come home and just eat me a bowl of cereal, make me a sandwich, I ain't got to worry about it. What we eating for dinner tonight, honey? I can't stand that question. What we eating for dinner tonight? What we eating? Hmm. Sometimes DJ try to play that on me. Mom, what you cooking? And for some reason, I will cook for him. But, like, having a man ask me what we eating, honey, that burns me up. Because Mama Bree, lots of nights, I'll eat me, like I said, grilled cheese some soup or oh, I eat me some cereal in a heartbeat. I love me some Captain Crunch, honey. I get down with that, honey. Or sometimes maybe I don't want nothing. But if you got a man, sometimes you got to be cooking all the time. Mm-mm. Got to be cooking and and uh, mm -mm. I like, and the longer you stay single, the harder it is to be with someone because you be so stuck in your ways. Now, and I do have someone nice in my life that's been with me, been riding with me for the last mm, 10 years, maybe, or 12 years. And um, I know you all hear me talk about him. His name is Charles, a wonderful, wonderful man, you know. <clears throat> but I'm still praying to God to God mold him because, because I've been married before. And I know some things that I don't want to deal with and I ain't going to deal with. So I'm praying for him. Like I said, he's great. I mean, he has been by my side since I've been on dialysis. I mean, never leave my side. Been there to appointments with me. Um, he's seen the good, the bad, the ugly. The, when I'm sick, when I'm well, he's been right here. So he is my ride or die. But, you know, you still, you know, when you also in a relationship, you kind, you know what you got. You know what you're dealing with. So I'm just praying a little bit more, you know, asking God to just, just mold him into that man that God wants him to be. Not me, that God wants him to be. Because if God molds him, he's going to be right for me. So that's how I chopped that up. But he's a beautiful preacher, a wonderful person in my life. And he does, he put up with a lot from Mama Bree. Because Mama Bree is a piece of work. I'm going to be honest. It's a lot to deal with. But nonetheless... He puts up with it. So, <clears throat> that's not really much about relationships. And I probably didn't even really answer your question. Because like I said, Mama Bree just do not have much advice on relationships. So, with that being said. And I'm going to conclude, as Rayshawn could say. Conclude. <laughs> now, I'm going to end this video. Um, but before I end this video, God bless everyone. And Mama Bree misses you all. And I will be back with another segment. And until then, bye-bye.